It's safe to say the F-35 is definitely the talk of the Singapore Air Show. But as for when we might see an actual F-35 in Singaporean markings, like this mock-up behind me, it's a little too soon to tell. Singapore has been uh, had official status on the program since 2003, something that the U.S. government calls a security cooperation participant. And that gives them insight. They, they have full knowledge and awareness of the capabilities of the airplane, how it's developing, and they're studying it, considering when and or if it makes sense to become part of their fighter force structure. In addition to talking to Defense News about the possibility of Singapore buying the F-35, Lockheed Martin also provided an update on where the F-35 stands in relation to its operators in the Asia-Pacific region. Up first is Japan, where Mitsubishi Heavy Industries is actually building aircraft there, rather than in the United States. Japan plans to buy 42 of the aircraft, and just last month, the first of them arrived at its base in Misawa, Japan. Next is South Korea, set to buy 40 with the potential for more. And finally, Australia is set to get at least 72 of the aircraft to replace F-A-18 Hornets. But when it comes to F-35 fleet composition, Lockheed says they're hearing from countries who want to operate mixed fleets of the aircraft, which means they would have both conventional A models and vertical landing B models in service, something Lockheed says would not be difficult to do. The things that you sustain on the airplane are very, very common between the variants. Uh, uh, over 90% commonality in the mission systems and uh, uh, the systems that you have to spare and, and sustain on the aircraft. Uh, so it's very common from that perspective. The training and the tactics, uh, other than takeoff and landing, are common between the variants of airplanes. Uh, the mission systems are identical. Pilots will tell you when they're sitting in the cockpit of an airplane, it's virtually impossible to tell in the cockpit which variant you're sitting in. To see and read more coverage of the 2018 Singapore Air Show, be sure to visit our website at defensenews.com. And reporting in Singapore for Defense News Weekly, I'm Jeff Martin.